up, man. Damn. Snow covered. I mean, step covered in snow. We got us some more snow, guys. Well, I ain't gonna call it real snow because my northern people watching go be like, Boy, what the fuck is this? But yeah, for down south, y'all, this snow. It's this real snow down south. Right now, I'm out here in uh, Winchester, Virginia. It's closer to West Virginia. And we got us some more snow. So I guess I'm gonna have a good time this morning <laughs> trying to get these tarps off. And my straps off covered in snow. It's gonna be a fun road right here. On the real, being real with you, I might just mess around and then roll these things up best I can and put them on the back of my deck right here because there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit my tarps inside my um my box up there with all that snow up there on top of it. Cause it's just gonna be uh too wet and too stiff to roll. Good. But anyway. Anyway, I'm right here at this Lowe's over in Winchester, Virginia. I'm about to go ahead over there and check in. My plan was to um, go ahead and start. My plan was to go ahead and start on strapping it and on topping it before they opened this morning. But being that it was snowing outside, I didn't want to do that just in case, you know, something else came along and their product got messed up. I didn't want them to, you know, blame me for, you know, ice being on their product or whatever. So I just decided to wait until they open, go ahead and check in, and then start on topping or whatever so go ahead and do all right just finished checking in so i am gonna have to pull my truck from here down in between that shipping container and there's a gate down there i have to center it right there and the guy told me i can go ahead and start on topping on strapping or whatever it's gonna be fun man i'll tell you it is <laughs> Damn, I thought I had, I ain't gonna lie, I thought I had got past that snow once I left the Northeast, I ain't gonna cap. But you know, anyway, it's Friday, man, I ain't tripping too much, I'm gonna go ahead out here and dog it out, grind it out. Oh shit, I almost slipped. I'm gonna go ahead out here and grind it out so that way um, I can get home because it is Friday, y'all. Problem is now, though. I gotta wait for my damn windshield to defrost before I can move anywhere. And I think my dang on uh, my windshield wiper, this windshield wiper might be a little messed up because when I was coming out of Jersey the other day, I stopped at a pilot and fueled up. And then I was uh, using one of those little brushes at the fuel pump to you know clean the, some of the salt off my window. And in the process, the brush bumped my, um, my windshield wiper and then later on down the road, they started like trying to wiggle off or whatever. So when I ended up stopping at a rest stop, I looked at it and tried to reconnect it properly. And it looked like the piece that locking in cracked. So I don't know, I guess we about to see. I'm gonna let it melt down a little bit first so it don't have to fight through so much snow to um, well, fight through so much ice to white. So I guess we about to be here for a little minute. All right, so here go the ultimate test right here. We about to try this windshield wiper. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get one more shot. Okay. I need to get me a damn ice scraper too. But shit, that's pretty straight right there. I'm about to go ahead and pull this bad boy on down there. So the middle over there, between that seat container and that fence. And we about to get this party started. So yeah, we about to go ahead and get this thing popping. About to go ahead and I'm down two. Well, I already know my hand's about to be frostbitten this morning go ahead and grab another pair of gloves too because i'm gonna put put these on top of these other gloves so my hands don't they still get cold but they help a little bit all right man look at this shit <laughs> that's wild bro anyway let me go ahead and set y'all up right here and i'm gonna go around and start on Start loosening everything. 
my man said that they didn't have a driver here at the moment anyway so i'm gonna just go ahead and take my time shit you know ain't no need to rush in there if they ain't got no forklift driver here yet I'll just take my time with it do what i got to do I got to invest in me a GoPro, guys, because this right here, that shit might not be it for long. Let me see. Let me see. Let me sit y'all like right here. I hope that's a good angle, man. Yeah, let me do it like that. Get it. I'd be frostbitten this morning. Them shit was hurting the other day leaving Jersey. I mean, leaving New Hampshire. Listen, I'm about to go kill this other side real quick. <laughs> the crazy thing is, I bet on my next load, my very next load, I'm gonna have to use these tarps again. So that's part of the reason I'm not even gonna. Um, that's part of the reason I'm not even gonna put them up properly because. Might have to use these bad boys again. I don't think that's a good angle. I don't know. Damn, bro. This cold weather ain't for me, dog. Ready for the summertime. Yeah. 
things all frozen and shit. Yo, yeah, this one froze, froze. Matter of fact, I think it's the same one that wasn't even fully thawed out from yesterday. But I use it again because I didn't want to get all my equipment wet and rusty. Alright, fuck it. I gotta go around, take all these bungees off. Then we go start on tarping, man. Shit crazy bro. Damn, I got another one right here. Let me see y'all up here for a second, man. Alright, so at this point I think I have all of my bungees off. Now you gotta get the fuck down, that's the problem. Ugh, fuck. Man, it's about to be cold as shit. I think we got all the bungees off, so thing now is to just pull this bad boy on off here. Which is gonna be the issue. Cause we're pulling this shit off in snow. So I'm trying to figure out which way the best way to pull from. If I pull from this way, half my tarp will be down here in this snow. And I don't think I have quite enough room on the other side to pull from. Yeah, it ain't no clearance over there and plus. The forklift driver, he coming in and out, so looks like I'm gonna have to pull on the other side. Y'all, if y'all plan on buying a lawnmower, I know nobody know about lawnmowers this time of the year, but y'all might want to wait till down to summer, cause these motherfuckers all wet and snowed out, they ain't got no cover on it, nothing. Shit's gonna be rusty as hell by the time somebody buy them. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull from this side, it looks like. I just have to find a good place to set my camera up at. Might have to do it down here. Let's get it. I almost bust my ass trying to take that top off, but this is going to be down, so I ain't got no traction. I need some fuck, bro.
cap, y'all. It's a challenge this morning to get these tops off because um the ground's slippery, so I really don't have the traction that I need to give the top all the force that I need without falling. And my gloves are wet and the tops are slippery, so I don't have grip or traction anywhere. So I'm about to come back in here for a minute and then dry my gloves off on the defroster and then after that I'm gonna give it another shot. Alright fam, so I finally was able to wrestle my tarps off. These motherfuckers filled up with like blankets of ice. The second one wasn't, wasn't as bad, but the second one had like a nice big blanket of ice in the back of it because it was partially covered by this one. So I'm not even about to attempt to um, fold these things correctly. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just uh, roll these motherfuckers real quick the best I can. I have the forklift driver throw them up down the deck. And that's gonna be it, man. Oh, that's gonna be it. And then we headed out to my next stop. So we finally all the way unloaded. And I'm gonna be the first one to say these tarps look like shit. But it's the best I could do with them because as y'all seen, it was full of snow. I got them tied down right there. Uh, wait, wait for my next load. I'm about to run on over here to the Starbucks to give me a nice, big, the biggest, strongest, darkest coffee they got. I'm somebody to grab while I'm waiting on my next load. This looks like what I'll be picking up. Yep, so I just got to my location, my pickup location. Got another TMC guy in front of me. We picking up from Martinsburg, West Virginia, and it's going down to Charlotte, North Carolina on Monday. So, uh, I'm at right now, it's only gonna take me like six hours to get home. And I got like all of my clock up besides the 20 minutes that it took me to make it over here. So, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that we make it home in a good time today. Because since I've been out here in my own truck, it's been late getting home. Like the first week I was in my own truck, I didn't get home till um, what was it, like 10 p.m. It was like 11 p.m. The next week, I didn't get home till like 9 p.m. The week after that, I didn't make it home at all. I, I ended up running out of time, so I had to end up parking like three hours away from home. And then the last week before I took my little break or whatever, my little two weeks off, I didn't make it home until midnight. So we about to see what this brings. I'm about to go ahead and check in and get loaded. I just had to pull into a dock that's so tight. I had to fold my mirrors. Like man, you can't even you can't even drop a coin between there. You can't even drop a damn coin between that. It's crazy. And on this side, I got barely just enough room to walk, to access my catwalk. But, um, that's crazy. Now you have docks like this. I really hate docks like this. But, you know, I guess in the end, it all make you a better driver. All right, YouTube, y'all see here. Got it on strapped down. Say you got some vinyl siding and, uh, yeah, vinyl siding and wood. Thankfully, this one didn't have to be tarped. I didn't feel like pulling them tarps back out, messing with those again. But everything is uh, tight. Everything tight and strapped down. This one deliver on Monday morning in Charlotte, so I'm gonna go ahead on to the cribbo, you know. And I got my birthday coming up this weekend, so you know I'll probably go out and have me a nice dinner for that. But besides that, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, you know, support the channel. Appreciate everybody that's still been rocking with me and supporting the channel. And until next time, it's your boy Ray, and I'm out.